for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel let's see what's going on so what we got here is the four of wands and the nine of swords now the four of wands it's showing that there's some type of special event it's about special event or something special if it's a special event it's going to be one which is way more fun than you're anticipating and this card, it's about going. Make sure to go and you'll have a good time. But realistically speaking, we know we can't really go to special events these days. Maybe later. Maybe later on this year. But um, that's what this card is about. And business is likely to be going very well at this time. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Although this is a very positive in the in the um, tarot. It's a very positive one in the tarot. It shows a need to keep your wits. Yeah, keep your wits about yourself. And treat yourself to some fun. But just know that you're probably in a building up phase. Building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes mean that you could be moving, maybe moving your place of residence. And it's paired with the Nine of Swords, which is showing that you probably feel like you need to guard against feelings of anxiety. And if you're feeling anxious, take a look at it, whether or not it's, whether or not any of it's under your own power or control. Try to lessen it or if things or people in your life are contributing to this anxiety, yeah, try to work on it and fix it. Get rid of it. Who needs anxiety around this time? So, if this is if this is the case, take a good look at that and see whether or not something in the relationship can be changed to make it more workable for you. Because there's something about this time period, as we know, can cause people to feel like their life should be in some way more or bigger or different. So try to take comfort and joy in the ordinary things. And just know that's where the beauty is. So basically, present time, four of wands and nine of swords. It looks like they're succumbing together here. If you're dealing with someone with this four of wands, the relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed with this four of wands here. But it's causing anxiety. Yeah, you stay up at night. You're worried about this. Some situation. You're worried. And it feels like it brings you hardship with this Nine of Swords. Anxiety, yeah. Yeah. But something's good is it's in the mix here with this Four of Wands. So let's move on over. We'll come back to these two cards when we recap the reading. So, for now, we'll take a look at how they see you. Your person sees you as the Three of Cups. They also see you as the Eight of Wands. Three of Cups. It's considered a card of reunions, but that's not its only connotation. It's not its only connotation. Um, it's a reunion in the broadest sense, running back into or meeting up with someone or something that's been away from you for some time, for a long time. And it's considered to be a really happy reunion, very upbeat. As you can see, these three people, they're jumping up. They're toasting their champagne or their wine. And they're so happy. They don't care. They know there's a lake there and they're about to just splash right into the water 
<laughs> with their drinks and everything. <laughs> that's how happy it, that's how happy this this uh, celebration is. And um, so it's a really good. Sorry about the noise. Um, it's so noisy over here. It throws me off when I do my reading. So a lot of times you'll catch me pausing and it's because of the noise. So sorry about that. But anyway, this is a really, really happy reunion. Very upbeat. Very upbeat. Someone's been away for a long time. And you guys get back together and it's great. It can also mean celebration, your own or someone that you care about, such as celebrating a new baby, a wedding, or could be some other happy occasion. Now, this is how your person, they see you as rejoicing. A friendship, happiness. I love this card. Um, celebrations. They see you as a circle of support. Now, they also see you as the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands, it's showing that a lot of things could be up in the air. You see how these wands, they're up in the air, but they're not coming down. They're not going downwards. They're going upwards at an angle. So, you could be frustrated and tired of waiting for something. This card is an indicator that you have to be patient a while longer You've probably already done all that you can do. Now decisions, they have to be made by other people. So when this card appears, nothing seems to be moving ahead. Don't try to force things. And I say this because if you try to force things, it's likely to backfire on you. Sometimes our actions, they're all in the wrists. All you can do is put your best out there and see where it lands. You put your best out there, now you just have to wait. So, basically, they see you as you're waiting. It looks like you you're waiting for a come together with someone. Now, this Three of Cups, it's a card. Like I said, it's a card of reunions. Could be a reunion with a long lost love. Some type of celebration. Could be somebody returning from the past and they see you as waiting for this. It's probably a, something planned and it's not happening yet. So they see you as something great is about to happen. Some type of great come together. I'm picking up it's a past person and they see you waiting. Yeah, it's it's not happening right away. It's, it looks like it's something planned. And they see you as... Like I said, rejoice, happiness, friendship. It's a beautiful card. Like I said, I'm picking up your seeing. Are you supposed to see someone or get together with someone from the past? That's what it looks like. And this is how they see you, but it's not happening now. So maybe after, maybe you guys are planning something. Maybe somebody's gonna, maybe someone from your past is coming back, and they want to hook up with you. But it's gotta be after this house arrest that we're all in. That could be it. That's what it looks like, and this is how they see you. So let's get some clarity and take a look at how you see them. So you see them as this Queen of Wands, and you see them as the Moon card. Now, the Queen of Wands, it can refer to a woman who has a lot of fire energy. Fire energy. That's an Aries, a Leo, or Sagittarius. Now, when it's not referring to an actual person, it stands for getting a whole lot accomplished. It could be focused on work, career, but it could go either way, family, romance, Queen of Wands, positive, uplifting energy. When it does stand for actual person, this person is a really good friend. 100% on your side. Even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. 
yeah, very self-absorbed. So keep in mind, if you're trying to conceive and you get this Queen of Wands in your reading, as you are, uh, it's one of the most positive signs that there can be. So be careful if you don't want to conceive at this time. Uh, so take that as a warning. So you see them like the Queen of Wands, very determined. Uh, you could also see them as being egotistical. They get what they want. That's how the Queen of Wands is. Very confident. Queen of Wands knows her worth. And that's one of the ways you see them. But it's paired with the Moon card. So the Moon card, you could be feeling psychic and intuitive. So it's important for you to trust your instincts and impressions, even if you're not sure where it's coming from. Also, not that you need to be mistrusting, but it's going to be helpful for you to realize that it's possible that all is not what it seems. If you feel you cannot trust someone, then you probably cannot. So go with your gut. And if you're waiting on an answer from someone, it could take longer than you would like for it to. So, yeah. Looks like there's a lot of waiting in this reading. Take longer. If you're waiting on an answer, it could take longer than you'd like for it to. So it's about being patient. That, yep, that's heavy in the reading. So, so you see them, like I said, de determined. Could be egotistical. They're very confident. They know their worth. And uh, when I say determined, they're determined about you. Very determined about you. Um, and they come across like a really good friend. But because the moon card is there, sometimes you feel like they wear a mask. They don't really say how they feel. Or you see them as um, deceptive. That's what the moon is about. But still you feel like this person is, is true most of the time. But sometimes you wonder, you question what they're, what they're telling you. So, sometimes they throw you off because you, you think they're just pulling the wool over your eyes. So it's probably kind of hard to figure them out but, like I said, the Queen of Wands, they're determined about you. They could be self-absorbed, but they're on your side. But they're probably just the type that... Some people can be... They can be true to the person they're dealing with, but sometimes they just gotta throw something something in the mix whereas <laughs> it, it just seems off but they still are true to you but they just they got some type of trait whereas they gotta twist whatever they're they're saying and then they come across as deceptive I think some of you know what I'm talking about you know some people like that they're they're good friends they're on your side but then every now and then you're like, whoa, uh, you know, where did that come from? So it seems like it's something like that. Yeah, because you know it's, you know it's not, it may not be true or you feel, I like, just feel like there's some deception there. Yeah, this kind of sounds like my mother. She's 100% on my side but sometimes I feel like she wears a mask sounds like my mother is uh, interesting this reading must be for me and I'm an Aquarius <laughs> uh, yeah but anyway that's how you see them okay so why don't we move on over let's take a look at why it's happening We have the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. 
Now this two of pentacles, it could be about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the two of pentacles. So you may need to cut down on trying to do too many things in order to focus on two main priorities. Possible that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. That could be it. So be sure that you're paying attention there. Now, that's one of the reasons why it's happening. You could be thinking that or feeling that because there's there's a deception card here, the moon card. You could be feeling that your person is uh, is a back and forth type of person. You might feel like they're a two-timer or they, they bring in balance or they brought in balance to this connection when you two were together. Like I said, I'm picking up that you're you're getting back together with someone. But you think they bring in balance. And that they need to be more balanced so that it doesn't throw the connection off again. Or you could see them as a, a two-timer. They juggle. That's what the Two of Pentacles is about. Now, because it's with the Six of Pentacles, which is good, I like this card. Six of Pentacles is about a term for the better. Could be regards to money. When you hear the word Pentacles in the tarot, that means coins, cash, finance. So it's one of the more positive Pentacles in the tarot. It speaks of fairness, equality, nature of life. When this card appears, you're feeling or you are heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day, not just a positive time, but a whole cycle of positivity. The Six of Pentacles, it's about generosity. You can see this man, he's giving these two girls something. He's being really generous. So it could also mean that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So... The other reason why it's happening is because of the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. Your person, this person that you're meeting up with, they could be well off or they could um, be very prosperous and a giving type person. But you feel like they... They're, they're either a two-timer or they bring imbalance or you're worried that they'll bring, they'll throw this, um, they'll throw your situation off balance. You might be comfortable with maybe just the way your life is going now, but you feel, you could feel like if this person comes back, if you guys reunite and reconnect, that they'll throw things off balance. But... They bring prosperity. Yeah. Six of Pentacles also means that it's a good relationship. So it could be bringing towards you a very good connection. And maybe it's no longer in balance. Or maybe they won't throw you off balance. Because, like I said, Six of Pentacles is a great card. It's a good relationship, prosperity. So you could just be thinking that this person has someone else. So, just to recap, do a quick recap so that you can get a, the complete picture of this reading. So, the Four of Wands, it's about celebrating... It's about coming together. It's about special events. And it looks like you've got some special event coming up. Because they see you as someone that they want to reunite with. 
but it's not happening now. So you could be talking to someone, someone from your past could be reaching out to you soon. It may not happen in May, it may happen in June. And when they do, it's gonna cause you some anxiety with the Nine of Swords there. So you may be thinking this person, you may be unsure, maybe they um, bought some imbalance to your life in the past. But the Six of Pentacles is there. It's saying it's a good thing. It's a good thing now. They'll bring prosperity. And um, that's what it's saying. So it looks like a reunion. They see you as a reunion. Someone they want to reconnect with. But it's not happening now. Like I said with the Eight of Wands. It's just up in the air. And you see them as very determined about you. This Queen of Wands here. But you feel like... They could bring some deception. They could be wearing a mask sometimes. Maybe that's how they were in the past. Okay. So that's another reason why you've got the feelings of anxiety. So it looks like you want to celebrate with this person. You want to come together. But you got some worries. Yeah. But just know the Six of Pentacles is there. So, it could turn out to be a really good comeback. A really good one. Yeah, or or your person is, is, is going to be very generous. Okay, so... You're thinking that they, they could throw you off balance, though. You're worried about that. And you're worried, worried that they may not tell you everything that you need to know to open up. So... It looks like it looks like a very happy happy occasion, a happy get together. And it, it could turn out really good. That's, that's what the Six of Pentacles is about. It could turn out really well. But for right now, it's up in the air and you may not even know about it yet. It may happen in June. Because with the Eight of Wands there, that means it's coming, but just not yet. <laughs> so something good is, is lurking around the corner. And just know, if you start to feel anxious or have some anxiety, it's probably your past person coming around the corner for you. 